And we're just wondering what you did when you finished MasterChef and how you went with going after all that. So how many months has it been since MasterChef? It's been a couple now. It feels like so long ago, it's unbelievable. Um, I've been doing work experience with Matt Moran, so I've been to his new restaurant in Brisbane, which was really good, um, and his Sydney restaurant, working with his team there, and the next couple of weeks I'm going to be working, he also owns the Opera House Catering, and so I'll be working with one of his head chefs there, who's amazing, Simon there, does some great things, so we're doing that, I've been doing um, some ads, I've been doing my own gigs, so last night I did a, a table of 80, next week we've got a table of 120, um, so it's developing menus, um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing, I mean there's so many things, I've gone forever, <laughs> but it's, it's a, I'm in the food industry and I'm going all over, like not just in restaurants but er everywhere, so for example, next, tomorrow I'm going to be working with Women's Weekly and I'm going to be doing some food experiments and doing some food tech stuff for Matt Moran, his Christmas um, edition that's going to be coming out soon, so helping um, the food stylists style of food which is really exciting for me so I'm sort of dabbling in a bit of everything at the moment and sort of appreciating because I know this is going to run out soon and for me it's making the most of it and using these connections to get as much as I can out of it so going wherever I can food demos I've been doing a lot of food demos too and showing people my food which is um, what I love to do this is what I want to do I'll, I want to put my food on the plate for people to enjoy and I want them to talk about it and I want them to keep coming back to my restaurant so that's that's the, all this work is for my restaurant one day, hopefully. So that's what I've been doing. How many takes, was it just one take throughout the entire series or were there numerous takes to get like the meal presentation right or like, and did you do your own washing up? Because when we, from there, we, we saw you with dirty dishes covering the benches, but when it came back from the ad break, clean. <laughs> We had some uh, fairies that came along and took everything away. <laughs> no, we were lucky enough not to clean um, many things. We did sometimes, made sure you know we didn't leave so much mess. After it was done, the challenge, we would make sure that we put everything in nice piles and the fairies would take it away. Uh, <laughs> but um, what was the, the first one? Tapes. Yeah, the tapes. Um, basically, invention test, pressure test, all the, the tests that you saw, one hour, half an hour, whatever it was, that was the time you got, that's it. Uh, occasionally it would go over by two minutes or three minutes, the chocolate cake one went a little bit over because no one was ready. <laughs> but that's it, um, it never go over dramatically because that's just not fair, it is a competition and it's serious. Um, and in regards to the takes, some people were saying, do the judges taste cold food that's cold or not? Yeah. Um, the judges came around, I don't know if you saw it on the TV, you might have seen it a little bit, uh, the judges would come around and taste every element of our dish while we were cooking. So in that hour, they would come around and taste, what's that sauce just in, or what's that, what are you doing with the potatoes? Um, and sometimes we do a sample plate, so they would taste it straight away. As soon as the clock stopped, the three judges would come around to every bench and taste your dish. Um, and so when we went up, it was a little bit cold, because that would take about an hour to fill, maybe two hours sometimes, depending on how many, I mean, three hours when there was 20 of us. Um, so it was a little bit cold then. Um, but then they were judged just on the presentation at that stage, so it was purely fair. It wasn't they were tasting something cold and it would impair their their judging. So yeah.